as you can see here, the hex lock contour abutment looks very similar to a custom abutment. You'll note that the collar has a variable height. The lingual portion will be higher. The facial portion will be lower. And interdentally, you have a normal chamfer shape. This allows support of the papilla. It also provides for a highly cosmetic result by minimizing the facial margin. The contours and also the built-in flare provide for an ideal emergence profile. The contour abutment comes in a variety of flares and a variety of collar heights. The hexlock contour abutment gently seats into the implant and is tightened down with a 0.5 millimeter screwdriver. This can be done immediately or it can be done in a more traditional delayed fashion. Perhaps the greatest advantage of using the hexlock contour abutment is the development of a very easy to use impression coping analog system. This comes as a prefabricated kit and inside this kit you'll notice we have an analog two copings, and a snap cap impression post. The snap cap impression post fits easily over the top of the abutment, and a traditional crown and bridge impression can then be made. The snap cap then will release from the abutment. A laboratory analog can then be placed inside, and this can be used to fabricate the model by your lab technician. Also delivered with this kit is a white waxing coping that the laboratory technician can use to fabricate the final crown. A temporary coping is also given with the kit and can be used to fabricate an immediate provisional. One of the beautiful things of this system is that they've also fabricated a one-piece implant. Looking at the one-piece implant, it's very hard to distinguish between it and the tapered screw vent implant with a hex lock contour abutment in place. The unique features of the Zimmer one-piece implant are that it was principally designed off of the tapered screw vent implant. In fact, the osteotomy that is made for the tapered screw vent implant is identical to the osteotomy that is made for the Zimmer one-piece implant. This gives practitioners leeway should they have an angulation problem after creating the osteotomy. A fail-safe, if you will, that you can implement should you need to. The coronal portion of the Zimmer one-piece implant is designed based upon the hex lock contour abutment. The most coronal portion of the one-piece implant has this notch, which is characteristic not only to it, but also to the hex lock contour abutment, which means the same impression kits that are used for the hex lock contour abutment can also be used for the Zimmer one-piece implant.